Today I'll be demonstrating how to seal the surface of this canvas sheet clay and then apply paint marks to enhance it. This is the original of the artwork. It's called New Beginnings of this bald face cap. And my client asked me, would you please uh, generate a sheet clay print on canvas and I would like you to hand enhance it. So here is the gicle print, which turned out beautifully. I have these professionally done here locally. And I want to show you today how I safely seal the gicle print prior to hand enhancing it with paint. And this is an important part because you don't want any paint to interfere with the surface of the uh, gicle, which is here. What I like to use to seal the surface of the gicle reproduction on canvas is gloss medium. I remove some of the gloss medium with my palette knife and I place it inside a plastic baggie as shown here and then give it a spray with the water. A bit of water and just mix it around with your fingertips. It also makes it so easy to store, which is also really great. And you can use it another day. So that's how I mix it up. Just a slight amount of water. You just want it to be a little more runny than the actual gel medium is that comes out of the container. So I take a damp brush such as this. I like these nylon brushes. They're really nice. They're very soft. The bristles are very soft. So it tends to not leave brush marks. And then I just put it in the bag. And then with a crisscross motion, I apply it to the surface of the gicle. want to work fairly quickly because you don't want um, it to start dragging. It does stay wet quite for quite a bit of time, but I don't want it to become drag, draggy on the surface. You can give it a little mist of water. I emphasize mist. These are wonderful, these misting bottles. Uh, but you don't want big droplets of water. That would not work. You just want a nice, fine mist. Once the gel medium is dry on the surface, I will then demonstrate how to apply the paint. Hair. Definitely don't want any hair stuck to it. I actually sometimes go at the very end and just kind of drag the brush in the direction that the paint was painted. Just, I don't know. It just seems like a nice way to finish it off. So now I'll go ahead and let that dry and I'll check back with you when it's done. So it seems to be drying really well. I'm going to give it probably another 10 or 15 minutes to make sure it's completely dry. Now if you're, you want to add paint marks onto the canvas with acrylic, you can just go ahead and do so. If you want to add oil, which you can do, I would give it a second coat of the diluted gel medium just to make sure that you have a really good seal over the gicle before you add oil paint. So I have done it both ways when I've hand enhanced gicle, so either way is possible. But one coat should be sufficient with acrylic. But if you want to be super safe, you can do two coats for acrylic as well. It's no problem. So. Yeah, this is fun. And next I'll show you how I actually apply the paint marks. 
Today I'll be doing the demonstration of enhancing the chic lay using oil paint. And as you can see, I like to pre-mix some of the colors and this really helps get the enhancing off to a good start with some of the color matching already done. I like to start the enhancing process with oil paint here uh, by using the palette knife. And if I have a color that I'm not quite happy with, you can see it wipes off very easily because the canvas is sealed in the acrylic gel medium. Using the oil paint, I also enhance the details of the calf's face. This really adds a beautiful sparkle to the uh, gicle, and I'm sure my client will really love that. The company that produces the giclés for me does have a protective coating over the giclé that prevents the colors of the inks, the archival inks, from fading from sunlight. And then the acrylic gel medium that I apply on top of that protects the surface from the actual paint. And remember, you're not applying paint to the entire surface of the canvas sheet clay. What's important to convey when doing this hand in hands technique is to have actual paint marks to show texture for there to be areas that actually stand out as being enhanced by the hand of the artist. So here's the finished sheet clay. I think it turned out really nice. You can see the texture on the surface, uh, especially where I use the palette knife. You can really see it there. And so it definitely has the hand enhanced appearance and I believe my client will be pleased with it. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting new videos every week. Thank you so much for watching today, and I hope to see you back here really soon. Bye!